Hello there, this is my advanced Adobe Illustrator tutorial which follows along from my intro Illustrator tutorial. Uh, you can see that on my YouTube channel. Um, what I want to cover in this tutorial first off is uh, vector graphics in general. Um, it's really useful to know how Adobe Illustrator treats vector graphics and uh, the way I like to describe this is that it treats things using the object and property model. So property could be also an attribute, which is pretty ex interchangeable. So <coughs> I define an object as any single entity drawn on the artboard that may be selected using the selection tool and have properties changed to the object as a whole. Direct selection may allow for individual components of an object to be changed. Oh, you can change um, anchor points on a path. Then the property is any ob attribute of that object that can be changed, for example, stroke, width, color, etc. Um, in general, there are th uh, you will use objects that belong to one of the following groups. Um, the first one is uh, Bezier curves. So we can draw these Bezier curves using the pen tool. So that's one type of an object. Um, you can also draw Bezier curves um, using the pencil tool. Did I call that what's the pen tool before? Um, you can have type objects. Point type. Oh, this is area type. Point type. I'll just point out some a really um, a key um, tool here. If you hold down Control, it'll switch to the selection tool, which will allow you to deselect one object so that you can start drawing the next. So that's a, a useful um, tool. So you hold down Control, click somewhere, you've deselected, and now you can draw a new object. Um, another type is raster image objects. So um, th there's many more types of objects that can be drawn, uh, and there are special objects that are created using more than one objects. So just going back to Bezier curves now. I'll do is I'll just set the stroke width to about four points so you can see if it's clear on the screen. And what I'm going to use is this pen tool. So paths that you draw with this pen tool are single lines that may only be continuous loops. They can't fork and merge so you can only draw something that you could do with a single piece of string, for instance. And then they're made up of a sequence of anchor points. You could also call these vertices or nodes. Then, uh, in the case of straight line segments, so we just have straight line segments like that, there's no other information. Uh, in the case of curved line segments, you'll see it's got this handle, so if I use this direct selection tool I can click on that handle and see what that looks like. There are two main types of anchor points, there's smooth points and corner points. So smooth points have angles that are at 180 degrees to each other. and a corner point have handles that are independent or no handles at all. So you can think of these here as being corner points without handles. Let me just uh, draw 
Explorer, one of these. So this is a this is a special case because it's the start of the line. So it doesn't just need to use actually this one here. So that's a corner point with some curves. Just use the so it has handles that can be moved independently. So it's actually quite a complex how you can switch between the states of these points and uh, I'm just going to try and demonstrate this, this for you now. So if I use the direct selection on this anchor point here, I'll just zoom in here, I can use this convert anchor point tool which you can drag out to get to. Um, so the first state is this corner point with right angles and then if I stretch it out it becomes a smooth point so these are at um, 180 degrees and these are equal the next state is that I can go to this um, direct selection tool and I can adjust it so that it's asymmetric but these are still it's still a smooth point and now the next state is I can go back to this one and if I click on one of these handles I can move them independently so that's this creates a a, um, a a corner corner point with curved lines. And now, if I'm using this direct selection tool, I can adjust these any which way I want. And then the so that's corner point. And then to reset it to the ground state, you can just use this convert tool and click there, and you've got a straight line segment again. So you use this convert anchor point tool to convert between the states and then you can use this direct selection tool to adjust the handles within a state and also to just adjust the position of the nodes if you like. So we'll just leave it there for this one and uh, we'll carry on telling you more about object properties next.